Good evening guys, now I just wanted to do this quick video to let you guys know how my collection has been coming along so far. Um, as you guys know I did pick up Sapphire Larry Johnson, sold everything, pick up Sapphire Bill and I went on a Sapphire spree over the holidays because I knew everybody was going to be opening packs and it was a good time to pick them up and get the collections done because everybody is going to be undercutting each other to sell them legends. So this was a smarter time than ever to do it and you should still get it done now while the packs are still fresh. Went out first and picked up Sapphire Sean Kep. I think this was on Christmas. Sapphire Rain Man. Now, first of all, everybody knows why Sean Kemp is famous. Rain on Rain Man. Now, first of all, the thing is, sadly, Sean Kemp is not as good as him used to be in this game because. Number one, them, they've always underrated in mid-range, he's only at 60. Sean Kemp's mid-range should be in the 80s. He was a s smooth mid-range shooter. But it's because dunking is not as easy in this game unless your name is like Paul George or something. For some weird reason. And you don't just take off anymore. So he's not as good offensively because really he was kind of just a dunker. Um, his post game is still decent though. Other than upgrading all of him badges to gold, I recommend giving him Fade Ace, Post Defender, Screen Outlet and Eraser, Fade Ace for Post Fadeaways, Post Defender to cancel out the post badges of everybody, everybody else you find in the No Restriction Seed, Screen Outlet for Pick and Roll, Pick and Pop, and Eraser to help you stop inside scoring because it does that nowadays, it counters inside scoring badges which is great. Next I had to go and get Clyde the Glide, Drexler, oh my god, in all 2Ks, hold on. Mark Bryant to inbound. Drexler. Oh! Pull no! that and boom goes the dynamite. Drex. I guess Trailblazer players just have a habit of breaking hearts with point nine left. Wink, wink. <laughs> but um, in every 2K my team that I've ever played, starting from 13. Clyde is one of the people that I've never used before, so I had to go and pick him up, and I, I could not. Um, one of the most improved things about Clyde in this year's 2K is them improving mid-range, and his 3-pointer is only at 76, but he has the star power signature skill, as I call it. Just because his name is Clyde Drexler, he'll probably make them. But the badges I added to him were Deadeye, Lockdown Defender, and Shot Creator. Deadeye will help him with fadeaways and in the mid-range area. Shot Creator because for some reason him didn't have it, but he already has Fade Ace. And Lockdown Defender because he had it in previous 2Ks, but doesn't have it in this one. And his defensive stats are all 90, so had to go and give him that. Next was Pen Pen, my boy Penny Hardaway. Love him, honestly, starting no matter what, unless I get Diamond Damian Lillard. Penny Hardaway could have went down as one of the greats were it not for his knees. Let them know, Pen Pen. Let them know. I've had Penny since 2K13, my team, and I cannot have him now. I just, I just can't do it. I can't see myself not, not having him in my team. So it would have been very weird. Uh, quick Easter egg. He's actually six foot 195 on his Sapphire card, and at 86 overall, two lower than his normal gold card. And we obviously know Penny was six seven. I think that's just an Easter egg, and I look a glitch. I haven't used the card yet to see if it's real. I, I don't assume it to be. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that's just a, a, a fake thing. Um, and his injury chart is all ye yellow rather than having red knees, but I'm pretty sure it's just fake. The badges that I added to him were Fade Ace, Lockdown Defender, and Teardropper. Teardropper because he can't dunk as much anymore in this game, so I like making good choices and take a teardrop when I can. Fade Ace just because I want to have that, you know, in case I ever take a fade away. And Lockdown Defender because his Lockdown Defending stats aren't that high, but I want to just because Penny's big and quick and can play D. Next was Molly Maul. And boom goes the dynamite. And, and, and boom goes the dynamite. Ah, get off the Molly Mall, B. And he's so real. Pull up, transition, nobody's in the paint. I'll pull up and take a jump shot because I can. And just because I'm from Brooklyn, I drive on David Robinson. I give him a one-handed floater for the win. You know, I have to claim this guy. He is from Brooklyn. I'm not from Brooklyn. I'm from Queens, but it's what it is. He's still from New York, and I have to claim him. I don't know why I'm going to choose a black and white picture for him, but I still think it looked kind of cool. Uh, no, I didn't really need Mullen because I have Glenn Rice. I think I showed you guys I'd pick up a Glenn Rice. Um, but I still wanted him, and he was cheap at the time because a lot of people were getting people from the, the Warriors collection. 
Um, now you know what his stats going to look like. The biggest surprise from him is that his on-ball defensive stats are all about 85 plus. And Mullen is one of the most proud and non-defensive people in NBA history. Like he would gladly walk up to you and tell you, I played no D. So it's strange that they would give him defensive stats. Uh, the badges that I gave him other than the ones that he didn't already have were Fade Ace, which I don't know why the fuck he didn't already have. Transition Finisher and Acrobat. Transition Finisher because Mullen always gets out on runs, it's his tendency. And Acrobat just so I don't have to be scared to go in and take a layup with him every now and again. Mullen was a pretty good finisher, so that is that guys. Those are four sapphires that I did pick up. And uh, my team is looking really nice. Now I just want T-Mac and he would probably be the star of the team. I need to put T-Mac in a Nick jersey. I just need to. Oh, and also I'm going to be doing a uh, semi like a hidden gem video like I used to do before. A lot of you guys have kind of asked me for help with your teams and your lineups recently. So I'm going to be doing what is like a starting five of players at each position that are cheap and effective to help you guys teams out and look for that would by tomorrow really. So hopefully that can help a couple of you guys.